Welcome to a code report algorithm video. In this video, we're going to be covering one algorithm from the STL algorithm library, std adjacent find. Adjacent find is an algorithm with linear time complexity, big O of n, that searches the range first to last for the first occurrence of two consecutive elements that match and returns an iterator to the first of these two elements, or last, if no such pair is found. And you can see here that uh, we have a templated function that returns a forward iterator and takes in two uh, forward iterators first and last. And note that there is an overloaded version of this function that also takes in a binary predicate, which we will use uh, to sort of leverage this one algorithm that we're given. So let's take a look at an example. So here we have a vector of integers uh, with the value 0522314. And what adjacent find is going to do is if we give it uh, the two iterators begin and end, it's going to return us an iterator that points to the first of two elements uh, that match each other that are adjacent. Or it'll return us just last, which is the past the last element, if there are no two such values. So uh, if we run this piece of code here, we're going to end up with the value 2 and index 2, which means we are going to... Uh, return an iterator pointing to this value, which is makes sense because it's the first value that matches the value after it. So this by itself is not uh, amazingly useful, but we can use the overloaded version that takes a binary predicate uh, to do other things with this function or algorithm. So if we take a look at our next example, we can pass it the greater predicate that the STL also provides us with in the functional library. And this is going to return us an iterator uh, to the first element that is greater than the element uh, after it. So if we run this piece of code, it's going to return us a value of 5 and index 1, which is going to be an iterator pointing to uh, this value. So greater is a predicate that returns true if the first value is greater than the second value. So this makes uh, adjacent find a little bit more useful, and uh, as well as there being a greater predicate, there is also a less predicate. So you can imagine what this does if we run this piece of code. It's going to return us a value of 0 and index 0, uh, which is going to be an iterator pointing to the first element. So now with one algorithm and uh, two predicates that are provided to us by the STL, we now sort of have three algorithms. And on top of this, and this is where uh, sort of using the algorithms that the STL provides us with as sort of building blocks for other algorithms, uh, things get really, really interesting. So we can write our own algorithm adjacent count, which is just a simple small while loop around the adjacent find algorithm. And what it does is it's going to basically keep track of this local variable C, which is just a count of the number of uh, adjacent elements that are equal to each other that it finds. And it's going to continue to perform this algorithm uh, and increment C each time it finds two matching elements. So uh, we do this by just making a call to adjacent find and setting first equal to the result, checking if first is equal to last, meaning that it wasn't able to find any more uh, adjacent equal elements, and then returning the count else, incrementing C, and also incrementing uh, our first iterator so that we don't include this in the next search. Um, and so if we do this, or if we write this algorithm, we, we can then use it in uh, code. And oh, right, I should uh, give credit where credit is due. The first time I saw this was uh, when Dennis, who's the C++ code reviewer of this channel, uh, he pointed out this algorithm when reviewing a code chef problem. So thanks to Dennis for pointing this out. Uh, so if we use this code, it looks really, really nice. Basically, uh, we've got the same vector of integers, and we can just uh, print basically adjacent count of the uh, first iterator and the past last iterator, and this is going to output two. So it's returning to us the number of adjacent elements that are equal, which is the two twos here and the two fours here. So. This shows that with one algorithm adjacent find plus two predicates provided to us by uh, the STL and a small function that we've written. So we only wrote the one that doesn't take a predicate, but we could also write another function that takes the binary predicate as well. We can basically turn one algorithm that's adjacent find into six different algorithms, which you can either name all yourself as sort of adjacent less or adjacent greater, or you can just leave them as sort of adjacent find and adjacent count with the two different overloaded versions that one where it takes a binary binary predicate and one that it doesn't. So um, you should know that whenever you have an algorithm from the STL algorithm library, just don't think about it 
um, from its sort of you know base functionality. So you can do this with other algorithms such as accumulate. So typically that just gives you the sum of all of the elements in your range, but you can uh, pass it a predicate or a lambda expression. And instead of taking the sum, you can take the product. And you can do similar things with other algorithms like partial sum. And, and basically most of the algorithms have overloaded versions that take uh, you know higher order functions and you can then change the functionality of those algorithms, which is what really makes the STL so powerful. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start, and you can find all of the code shown in my videos on my GitHub page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.